Tim is you against Sebastian Fundora. And then also we got Rollies against Pitbull on Amazon's first show, pay-per-view. Um, we haven't talked much on Rollies and Cruz. Maybe we could start there. Man, that's a good fight, man. I, you know, regardless if you like Rollies or not, or not big on Cruz, it's a good fight. I, I like I, I like both these dudes. I like their, you know, let's start with Rollies. This guy's a character. He's he's unorthodox. He's funny. Like he's always making, he's always cracking jokes. He's always talking smack. He's good for boxing, in my opinion. Yeah, he took a loss against Tank, but look how he bounced back. He, you know, he shrugged it off. He's like on to the next guy. He picks a guy that's that's recognizable and that's dangerous. So and then and, and Cruz, man, what is not to like about this little guy? This guy just, you know, for his size, he he he's a beast. He's a monster. So again, uh, this is a great co-main event. Uh, it might steal the show. It might not. But uh, I just know that fight. I don't see that one going the distance. So I'm really excited for that fight, Gio. Ooh. What are your thoughts on that? Hey, we know you're the biggest Isa Cruz fan. Like I don't know anyone who's big, a bigger fan than Pitbull Cruz. Somehow, Chris. We'll find a way to squeeze his name into the podcast, man. But hey, Chris, this is your time to shine. You can talk about it nonstop. He is co-headlining this show, Las Vegas. This is a big, big fight for him. I wouldn't say the biggest, but probably um, his biggest, um, I don't know what we, we want to call it, opportunity. You know, we knew against Tank, he was he was a big, big underdog, even though he fought very well in that fight. I think this is his big moment to shine here. He saw Pitbull Cruz. Let's see how he's coming into this fight against Rolly Romero. Uh, Pitbull Cruz, 25 wins, 17 knockouts, two defeats, one draw, 25 years old. He's young, Chris. He's young. SLDF listed at 5-4 Pitbull. You know, he he's coming off. You know, he's gotten some big wins, Chris, like. You know, he he said, I think the first one that really put him on the map was uh, this one right here, Diego Madaleno. He stopped him in one round. And then after that, you know, he got a lot of hype. He also defeated Francisco Vargas. Not sure how he didn't stop him, but, you know, that earned him a shot at Gervonta Davis in 2021. Uh, lost in that fight. You see the scorecards? Nothing too crazy, though. 113, 115, two judges. 112, 116. So, you know, he had a good outing. He had a, 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 a very good fight, I would say, both offensively and defensively. He wasn't enough to win, but that map definitely, definitely, I would say, took him to the next level as far as fans getting to know who he, who he was and, and kind of finding out that, hey, this guy can hang, you know, at that level. And after that, Yuriorkis Gamboa won by TKO. I mean, who hasn't defeated Yuriorkis, Chris? Man. Messed up. They, they've sacrificed that guy to everybody. Got a couple other wins. A split decision. His last one, Joanne Cabrera. Very boring fight. I forget what undercard this was on. Uh, but that was a very... Let's look it up. That was a very boring fight from what I remember. Um, a lot of people weren't happy. Oh, that was a Spence Crawford fight. And then... Now, yeah, that was his last fight, July 2023. And now he's fighting Rolis, who's 15-1. Both have lost to Tank, Chris. Yeah, both have lost to Tank, but uh, you know, one one of those guys, you know, gave a better account of himself. So, um, I gotta ask you, Gio, who do you, who do you favor in this fight? Is it a is it a obvious pick? Is it is it closer to fifty five forty five? Who um, who do you favor in this fight? Uh, I don't think it's a given for me, man. Uh, let me tell you why. You know, look, Rolly Romero, fifteen to one, thirteen knockouts. 28 years old, he's he's a few years older, of uh, quite a few inches taller as well. You know, what what weight is this fight at? Super so this is at 140. Okay, so that's that's the part that concerns me for El Pitbull, right? 140 pounds. You know, Roley coming into this fight, struggled against Barroso, still don't know how he got a, a stoppage win in that one. I mean, that was blasphemous, got dropped in that one. And then, of course, TKO'd against Gervonta before that. And then before that, really nothing that stands out except the robbery against Marinas in 2023, right? So yeah. with that being said, I think 140 advantage definitely has to be Roley. 
All right. Were well, you reading the the comments out here? Or what, Chris? Oh, Chris froze. Oh, that's. Like, I thought he was laughing at something this whole time. Chris just froze up. We'll try to get him back. Did this one freeze too? No, this one's this one's alive. The other screen froze. Chris, look at. I'm gonna just leave it up there like that. I'm not even gonna change it. Look, this guy looks like he's having the the time of his life. But let me see if I can uh, fix it up here real quick. Uh, but anyway, in the meantime, I think I think the um, there you go. I think the advantage has to be Roly man. 140. He has a size advantage. He's gonna have the power advantage. You know. I mean, I, I just think that he's a guy who doesn't throw many punches. I think Isa Cruz can outwork him. But man, I don't know. I, I'm still I'm still debating. Yeah, no, for, for me, I think I and you bring up a good point. 140 obviously favors Roley. Uh I just I I I just can't bet against Vegeta, man. He's like Cruz. He's like Cuba Cruz. Is the Vegeta of boxing, and this, this. Oh man, this what? What's going on, man? So come on, man. No, those fundamentals, man. You, you know, come on. I, I like Rollies. I like his awkward style. He reminds me a lot of Mayorga in, in, in many aspects. But I, <laughs> I cannot, I cannot discount people, man. I, I just feel like he's gonna catch him, even though he, Rollies is 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 bigger, stronger in in that sense. I just think he doesn't have the fundamentals. He doesn't have, you know, the balance. I think people is gonna is gonna catch it with something big. And again, this does the one forty does favor Rollies and and he's gonna he's gonna throw his own set of punches. He's gonna catch Cruz, but I think I think little Cruz has a has a good chin and I think it's gonna be lights out for for Rolly Romero. Man, well let me let me read Big Bro's comment. He says, um, the same Cruz who looked terrible his last fight and couldn't KO an old bandido who Rayo knocked out in a year later. Uh, had no real elite power at 35, even less at 40. Given with how flawed and limited Roley himself is, Roley got the size and power advantage, he's saying. Uh, I'm Derek laughing because you were cheesing. You were cheesing hard, man. That was crazy. <laughs> I thought you just got stuck. I was like, man, what happened? What is he laughing at? <laughs> I got stunned. Uh, Big Bro also says Cuban trainer Salas now with Rollies too. He's a real coach. Seeing clips of Rollies moving his head and punching. Uh, Salas teaching him some fundamentals. Damn. He also says Rollies going to clip him, clip him uh, to the top of the head. <laughs> <laughs> and saying Vegeta ain't a soft chihuahua, Chris. Oh. <laughs> Man, I'm either I'm either gonna get a bunch of these upsets right, or I'm, <laughs> I'm taking L's all weekend. No, but again, I don't even I don't know if you look at the odds. Geo, uh, Pimple Cruises is a favorite minus two eighty. Wow. Yeah, surprising. Wow. I feel like it'd be closer, but yeah, Pimple is a favorite. That, yeah, that's. I think a lot of people are just favoring you know those fundamentals, even though he is a smaller guy. Uh, you know, again, it's just. I don't know. I think people have well, obviously people have seen Rolando Romero get knocked. He doesn't have the the soundest de defense. I'm sure you could be doing some, a little bit of head movement, but you're not going to learn that in you know over two three months. So again, I, I got a favorite people Cruz, even with the size disadvantage. I think he's just. I think he's got too much dog in him. Man, Let, let's go to the. I think I have my prediction ready. But let's go to the poll and see what they're saying, Chris, because that 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 was shocking to me that Pitbull is a favorite, especially by 280. That's that's not a crazy favorite, but that's the favorite nonetheless. Like that's I thought it was going to be closer than that. This fight is at 140. But yeah, let's let's pull up the poll. Wow. Here you have it. 250 votes, 74% say Cruz, 26% say Roly. Yeah, there you go, man. Again, I, I respect Roly. I think, uh, like I said before, he's good for boxing. He's not, he's, he, he's more of a fighter than a boxer in the whole sense of the word. Again, like I said, he reminds me of my guy where he just wants to fight, man. He just wants to fight anybody. Win, lose, draw. He just wants to fight. So 
again, when you have somebody like that, you know, in a, in a very lucrative division, which is the lightweight, you know, you're, you're bound to get, you know, these kinds of fights. So again, it's, it's a good, very, very good co-main event. Could have been a main event any other time. So again, uh, shout out to these two guys. I, it's going to be a great fight. Might steal the show. So yeah, again, I'm all for people groups, but hey, Rollies, you're a friend of the show, buddy. Give a good account of yourself. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm going to go with, um, man, this is a tough one because obviously Roly, ah, he isn't the greatest of boxers, man. <laughs> He isn't the greatest of boxers, but I don't think Isaac Cruz is either. Um, I'm going to say... I'm going to go with Roley. I'm going to go with Roley. Hey, hey. I, if, think, I think he gets a knockout. Okay, yeah. I, I don't think, think he, he gets a knockout. I think he can win. I don't see him um, getting a decision. If if he does, uh, it's got to be by knockout. Obviously, he's got the power advantage of one forty. The size uh, is going to be something that he's like people cruise to see coming. But again, uh, yeah, man, I just can't. It's, it's hard for me to favor, you know, betting against these like people cruise again. I just think he's just more sound. He's got. They're both dogs. They both got that dog in them, but it's more fundamentals. <laughs> 